Hello, wonderful lambs. I'm back again to pray for all you wonderful lambs everywhere in the world, all the wonderful Christians everywhere in the world and over myself from the book of Proverbs chapter 13 over you wonderful lambs today. I'm going to be reading and praying from Proverbs chapter 13 from the King James Version Bible today. And I'm going to start verse 1. A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. Father, I pray that you help myself as your child and all your children everywhere in the world and all the persecuted lambs to be wise children to hear the instruction of a father, of our fathers that are on earth are still living and for the ones that do have fathers and for to also hearken unto your instruction, Father, as our spiritual father and not to be a scorner that hear it not rebuke that we won't be like the scorners, Father, but we will be like wise people that hear it your instruction from your word, Father God, and instruction from our earthly fathers for the ones that do have earthly fathers that are wise. So anyway, verse 2. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall eat valance. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall eat balance. Father God, I thank you for helping myself as your child and all your children and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world to be people that eat good by the fruit of our mouths, Father God. But Father God, that we will not be like the souls of the transgressors that shall eat balance. And Father, I know the souls of the transgressors that persecute your children and the persecuted lambs and myself through these different types of modern day slavery programs shall eat valence, Father God, because they sow valence against your children, against the innocents, Father, and against me through these different types of modern day slavery programs throughout this world. Verse 3. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. But he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. Father, I pray that you help myself, especially myself, Father God, and all your children and the persecuted lambs to keep our mouths so we can keep our lives. Not to be so quick to speak, but be quick to hear and slow to speak. And to help us not to speak hastily and not too quick and not too much, Father God. But help us not to open wide our lips so we will not have destruction, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, because you said he that opened wide his lips shall have destruction. And I know I have experienced that in my life when I opened my mouth too wide, Father God. My lips too wide and said things that I shouldn't have said. And it brought destruction in my life one way or the other. So, Father, I thank you for helping your children and myself and all the persecuted lambs to keep our mouths, Father God, and to be slow to speak and quick to hear, Father God, and not to say harsh things or hasty things with our mouth and not to be too quick to speak too soon, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Especially when we get provoked by anger by our persecutors in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 4. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. So, Father God, I thank you, Father God, that the souls of your children and the persecuted lambs in my soul as your child that are diligent, Father God, in our affairs shall Be made fat when we're diligent, Father God, in any given area of our lives, Father, or all areas of our lives, more so, Father God, that our souls shall be made fat, Father God. And I thank you for helping us not to be sluggards, Father God, because the sluggards, the soul of the sluggards, desired, and they have nothing, and we don't want to be like that, Father God. 
Anyway, now verse 5. A righteous man hated lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. Father, I thank you for helping myself as your child and all your children all over the world and the persecuted lambs to be righteous people that hated lying, that we will hate lying the way you hate lying, and we will hate what you hate and love what you love, love what you love, and love the way you love, Father God. And Father, that we will be people, righteous people that speak the truth, that love truth, Father God. And I thank you that your children and all the persecuting lambs and myself, that we love truth. We are righteous people that hated lying and we love truth. And we're not like the wicked people that are loathsome and come to shame. But Father, the wicked people that rise up against your children and, and that persecute your lambs and your children and myself through these different type of modern day slavery programs, they are wicked people that are loathsome and they will come to shame. And they speak lies to us and to your children, to myself. Father God, in these modern day slavery programs are very loathsome. But they will come to shame, Father, because they speak lies and they are loathsome, Father, against your people. In Jesus Christ's name. Verse 6. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthroweth the sinner. Father God, I thank you. As I am your child, Father, and all your children everywhere in the world, Father God, and all the persecuted lambs, Father God, I thank you that your righteousness keep it, Father God, all of us as we are in, as we are upright in in the way, Father, as we are upright in the way. That righteousness keep us as we are upright in the way and we're upright in our hearts, Father God, for all your children. But you said wickedness overthrew it, the sinner. And Father, that goes for the wickedness of the persecutors that persecute all the persecuted lambs and your children and myself through these different types of modern day slavery programs throughout this world. That these wicked people, Father God, that come against us will be overthrown. Father God, because wickedness, their wickedness that they do against your children, Father God, overthrew it, them as sinners, Father God. Verse 7, there is that make it himself rich, yet had nothing. There is that make it himself poor, yet hath great riches. Father God, I understand and know I as your child and so many lambs, persecuted lambs out there, and some of your children everywhere in the world, we lack and we are in poverty as far as in the standards of the world. We may not have much money or material things or much opportunities, and we've been disfranchised by persecutors and oppressors of these different types of modern-day slavery programs, and even unemployed and, and being made to be a shut-in and and homeless or whatever, Father God. But you said, Father God, even the poor, you know, Father God, has great riches, you know, Father God. There is that making himself poor, yet have great riches. We may be poor, Father God, but we have great riches in your kingdom, Father God, in the spiritual realm. From the spiritual gifts that you have given your children, Father God, from your word and the promises of your word through your son, Jesus Christ. The inheritance that we have through your son, Jesus Christ, Father God. The evildoers that persecute us, Father God, your children and the persecuted lambs and myself through these different types of modern day slavery programs throughout the world. They make it themselves rich by doing filthy things against us and dirty things against us and against the innocents, Father God. But they have nothing. Even though our persecutors may make themselves rich, that persecute us, Father God, through these modern day slavery programs, they have nothing. And we have Riches, Father God, even though we are poor and they have made the evildoers have made us poor behind stealing and robbing from us and causing us to be disfranchised and not allowing us to be able to uh, prosper and 
making ourselves rich, Father God, in, in, in any type of businesses or employment or anything in our lives and social relationships or whatever, Father God. But we are rich in Jesus and we have Jesus and Jesus makes us rich. And we have the inheritance of Jesus as your children, Father God. And we are joint heirs of Christ for the ones that are your children, Father. And I'm a joint heir of Christ Jesus. And so that makes us have riches, great riches, Father God, through your son, Jesus. Verse 8, the ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor hear it not rebuke. The light of the righteous Rejoice it, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. Father, I thank you, Father God, that the light of your children, Father God, as righteous ones, Father God, we rejoice as your children, all the persecuted lambs, Father God, rejoice as we have the light and we have the light of Christ in us, Father God. But you said the lamp of the wicked shall be cut. You said the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. So, Father, even the lamp of the wicked that rise up against your children, that persecute your children and all the persecuted lambs and myself through these different types of modern day slavery programs throughout the world, their lamp shall be put out, Father God, one of these days by you, Father God, by your judgment. Anyway, verse 10, only by pride come it contention, but with the well advice is wisdom. So Father God, I thank you for helping myself and your children and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, Father God, to to um, consent with the well advice and wisdom, Father God, because when we consent with the well advice is wisdom, Father God, and we get wise counselors, Father God, and we get the well advice and Father God of wise counselors, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, for helping myself and your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, not to walk in the spirit of pride because you said pride come at contentions by pride come at contention. So we won't be living in contention with the spirit of pride, that we will not be walking in the spirit of pride, Father God, but we will walk in the spirit of humility as your children, Father God. And I will walk in the spirit of humility as your child and not in the spirit of pride because I do not want to walk in pride when pride brings contention, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, verse 11, wealth gotten by vanity shall be Diminish, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Heavenly Father God, I thank you that you are helping myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs all over the world, Father God, to get our wealth and our profits, Father God, by hard, honest labor. Because you said when we gather our by labor. Father God, we shall increase, especially when it's honest, hard work, labor, Father God. And Father God, we understand that the persecutors and the oppressors that persecute and oppress us through these different types of modern day slavery programs that persecute the innocents and the lambs and your children and myself, Father God, through these different types of modern day slavery programs, they get their wealth, Father God, by vanity. And you say, since these First, wealth, evil people that get their wealth, Father God, by vanity, Father God, that persecute even the ones that persecute and afflict your people through these different types of modern day slavery programs, that wealth shall be diminished, Father God, that they're getting and making off of us as they persecute us and afflict us and make money off of persecuting and torturing us, Father God, filthy money and all for assassinating us father in jesus christ's name verse 12 hope deferred make it the heart sick but when the desire cometh it is a tree of life father god i pray that you help myself and your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world father god that we